All right, guys, that has been a stressful two days. I hate shiny trucks. I'm not building any more shiny cars after this. Um, those three back windows in this cab almost make me want to quit the hobby altogether. <laughs> that is horrible. Um, the rear window is concave the wrong direction compared to the back window, or the back window frame. And uh, I had to let it set almost two hours for the glue to finally dry and stay in place. Painting the window trims and stuff is, is just tedious. Um, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. That's why I don't build these kind of trucks normally. Um, the side windows glue in real easy, but this trim, I'm guessing because this truck has so much paint and clear on it, it does not fit. So I had to shave some of the top and the bottom off of it, and it's still not setting in the edges very well. I had to, again, clamp it and glue it. This was the one I did first. You can see I got a little glue on the windows. There's just no way around it. Um, the other side came out pretty good. It, again, it's not completely sealed all the way around either. Just a little snug in there with uh, all this extra paint. <laughs> um, trying some different stuff. The RC four wheel drive instructions used to always say use shoe goo. Well, I got some similar stuff to that, and it's just a stringy, slimy mess, and it's not good for the small stuff that you really need it for, like the metal emblems. They recommend using that because it will hold better. But goodness, getting it on there, trying to spread it with a little broken tool and get it. Just enough on there that it won't ooze out around the side and ruin the entire look of the truck. Oh, that's stressful. But I'm to the point now where to step 23. We got to put the interior panels in and um, we can then attach the bed and the cab together. It says to glue that down there to keep it from popping out. I, I don't like that design at all. Um, we'll see how that works out. Um, this thing is just too too shiny. I'm too paranoid. It's too stressful for me to, uh, you know, I've got it on its roof on the uh, instruction book, worried about scratching the, the paint and all that. <laughs> That's not like my patina stuff. Um, the very first step is putting in the tail lights. Putting in the tail lights is terrible when you're actually putting in the LEDs. I've got the, they just come out with these not that long ago, the uh, RC4 drive basic light set for this body. And... Yeah, just trying to get all the lights to stay in the little thing. I tried gluing them, and it it took a while. That took up most of the uh, first night of me working on this. This has been about two full days of building just to get we're a little more than halfway done, I think. But um, and you don't connect the cabin to bed till later on during the, the process, so I probably should have waited and not put the uh, front LEDs in. I did it while it was out, while it was easy to do it on the grill. And, uh, yeah, probably should have waited until <laughs> we got the cab at the frame, because then they're tied together by the wire, and you can't really do a whole lot. Um, I routed the wiring down the fenders, because I still haven't figured out inner fenders yet, what I want to do just quite yet with that. And they uh, come back together here at the firewall. We're probably going to run them underneath the interior pan, which I did get painted black. Um, had a little bit of bleed through on the uh, edge, unfortunately. But got that all flat blacked out with that nice trim paint. So uh, yeah, we'll route it down there and try to make it look as scale as possible. Um, I did also start looking at making an exhaust, but I haven't got the right kind of tubing. The stuff I have is way too thin, and every bend I go to make with it, it just folds over. So not sure yet about that. So many little things I want to get to on this truck, and I'm just... <laughs> it's trying my patience every step of the way. And everything out back came out pretty good. Um, I got one little glue smudge on the bottom of that back window, dang it. Again, that, that was difficult to get in. It just felt like the, the window, it has a lip that you paint black, and it's supposed to slide in. Well, it was bent this way, and the truck's bent this way, so it didn't, they didn't want to go together. Uh, I'm frazzled. No, part of the problem I'm having with this too is this it does have so much paint on it. I painted it, primed it, painted it, cleared it, messed it up, it was sanded back down, painted again, clear coated very thickly. So a lot of these little things aren't fitting in here. Uh, the tailgate is very, very snug. It has, and I can't even open it without pulling the whole body apart right now. Uh, it did scrape into the bed liner a little bit because it has little nubs that lock in. Um, I, 
tried to take my time and, and do the uh, tail lights right. They came out pretty good. I'm um, going to use the testers enamel paints I've got for the blinkers is turn signal amber metallic and the other one tail light is stop light red metallic and just brush those in they're super runny they're translucent um, it's very hard to get an even coat with them because that's curved so it pulls up in the middle so I was trying to do real light coats and I was hanging them in the uh, fan while uh, so they would dry a little quicker and they actually came out pretty good. The front lenses did as well. Pretty pretty happy with that. But, uh, man, I'm just stressed out. This has not been a fun, relaxing thing. Uh, I was joking on Instagram. I put up, in the middle of this process, I weathered a rat rod body. I did a little, kind of a short how-to video. Of one that I'd already painted and sanded. Just threw some rust streaks on it. Because I had to, had to channel my inner Bob Ross for this one. Because all this shiny stuff is just not my cup of tea so i had to do some rust in the middle of it to uh <laughs> get me through but um yeah let me know what you guys think we've got some more obviously we've got more work to do the hood is hinged and on and the everything the engine and stuff it looks great um i've got the scale designs by mr comedy brake master and coolant reservoir and wiper motor and stuff to still place up there but i need to get the body more together before we do that and uh, that way I can make sure everything is going to clear the suspension and stuff like that. Um, RC four wheel drive did provide these lights for us and we have some other really cool stuff that we're going to do on this as well. I'm kind of uh, getting a theme for this build and uh, yeah it's going to be pretty cool. So we got some more cool RC four wheel drive stuff coming on it. But, um, yeah, let me flip it around here to the other side. I promise I'm not purposely putting off the doors. I'm following the instructions here. The next step is after we do the rear door panels, is or the rear interior panels, is to start putting the doors together, and then we will mount those up and install the hinge brackets and everything inside of there. And uh, that's getting us pretty close at that point. All we got left after that is the windshield door panels. We've already got the interior done wipers seats are already done so we've already done all of this stuff in the previous video and we decked out the interior yeah and then it's install time and then we can start figuring out our electronics our placement for all that um i had a little another boo-boo over here so i use shoe goo on this this is a black plastic vent that goes over something that was already painted black and uh yeah, it got out around the edges a little bit. Messed up some of the paint on this side, and I've got some glue sticking out over here. So, good thing about that stuff is when it dries, it'll ball up. So I can just run my finger down a whole bunch, and hopefully it'll roll off of it. I mean, clean that up a little bit. This window came out quite a bit cleaner. I don't have any real bad glue marks. I haven't cleaned it at all either. The windows still have fingerprints all over them from me holding them into place for hours. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, let me show you the front real good, too. I'm, I'm really happy with how the front end came out. So the all-black grill. I was thinking about doing the grill chrome. I got a chrome pen. I just I wasn't up to it. I'm not having a steady hand day, or weekend for that matter. And, um, yeah, I went ahead and blacked out all the door handles to match. Tailgate handle. And, uh, yeah. I did use the chrome pen, however, too. It, it was, I didn't have a very fine tip one. But I got inside of the light buckets as best I could, and it, it's subtle. You can kind of see it in the headlights, but it does actually make them a little bit brighter when they uh, when they are on. And I did check them. I had to check them of the tail lights apart. I put it somehow, and they kept falling out of the little bracket when I'm trying to put it in. They the brake and blinker light got reversed, so I had a, a red one in an orange lens, and orange ones in a red lens, which was quite disheartening. But fixed it, got it all back together. Um, I did go ahead and paint the window windshield trim. Um, I think it may need another coat because I was having problems with my pen. But just go around that lip sticks up enough that you can pretty easily do that with a pen without too much trouble. Even if your hands are shaking like mine were. So at least the front windshield it bolts in. So no more. Oh, we got to glue the side windows in. I forgot. Oh. Uh. I haven't decided yet on the side windows. We may cut the vent windows out 
and just do it that way. So, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how the hinge and stuff works out. I remember on the Forerunner, I really wanted the windows open, and the window actually did keep coming unglued because it's just, yeah. <laughs> Two different kinds of plastic, and you're trying to glue it over the part you painted already, and it just doesn't, doesn't job right, so... We'll see how the cookie crumbles with that. But, um, yep, I'm ready to wrap this one up, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. And uh, keep it scale. See y'all in the next one.